Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the part number 9 in this uh, final project so uh, today we are going to take a look at uh, how we can actually add products to our cart we are going to use the filters we are going to actually uh, fix and uh, configure the marketplace page of our app so we are going to do a lot of things today and we are going to end up the this video with a, a big chest where we are going to see how things work and uh, uh, whether what you have done is working on that there is something to be fixed so uh, without any further ado let's jump into it but and uh, as we used to do before we get started don't forget to subscribe and join our uh, small community now i just want to thank you for uh, your support and now we are 200 uh, subscribers we are 200 people in this community so this community is going too fast so let's work together i make the content you share the content of this channel so we can reach our next milestone which is 300 subscribers so let's work together and now all you have to do is to subscribe if you have already subscribed then don't forget to turn on the bell icon so if i post this a new video you will be the first one to be notified so do that and we can go as you can see here on notion the first thing we are going to do is to show the products with the owner name in the marketplace of course so we are talking about the marketplace page so let's go to the marketplace which is this one now what we need to do is to add a list of products or uh, just a list of products card like this one you see it here in the user page here so it's we are going to add something like this right so uh, to save some time let's uh, copy it and let's go to the marketplace go to the widget tree and then we can actually paste it right here in the column we want to to we want it to be uh be actually beneath this uh, uh, stack over here so let's uh, paste it in the column and you will have it right here so uh, by default this will have all we have already done a backend call so uh yes but i will just remove the filter so I, whenever you copy something just remove the filter if that filter was necessary then you can do it you can do it again so this icon actually if we are in the marketplace uh, we cannot delete any product so uh, this has an action you see it right here so let's keep it but let's just delete the action right because we, we are going to need that or so let's just delete it we don't need we if we need that we are going to do it from scratch so this is uh, what so what we need to do now is to show the products with the owner name so here or this is uh, so let's actually let me delete or so uh, this uh, so since I have copied this so I will have uh, some kind of errors so what do we so why we why should we break our brains with this so let's delete that let's add another list and let's do this from scratch so just to avoid some un unnecessarily unnecessary mistakes so uh, let's inside that I will add the products card so uh, let's uh, let's search for product and we should find so here it is so now it looks good so as I told you so here what do I want to see in the marketplace so whenever you go to a marketplace you want to see some products but what do people forget is that when you go to a marketplace or a supermarket you want to get something that you don't own so that it something that is not yours that's why in this app in the marketplace we want to see other people's products that's what we need to see that's it and so le let's now build that so the first thing is to actually i will do is to remove this uh, uh, additional padding keep it that way that's that looks good so so where we have those products so le let me now open uh, my so let me open my uh, my firebase and just to show you uh, what you need to do so here is this is the final uh, project so i can go to the firestore database and uh, so i can go to the product so i have added another product and it's not a big deal so uh here we have the products and what do we need here so what do we want to see in the marketplace we want to see all the products if you have um, dozens of uh, products here in the pro inside the products collection we want to see all of them right here so what we call this is what we call a backend call we want to call we want to query or ask for the products in the firebase so this we call we call a backend query so i go to add the backend query so and it is a query collection for what collection it is the products 
and confirm confirm so don't do anything else so now you have asked for the products that are that belongs here that people have added to this collection right so now you so it's like uh, so this is the parent now it has some food so that food uh, the parent doesn't have to keep that food it has to keep, give its children some some of it so the children are the image this text this text and this one right so let's give them some food or data so uh, this what so what kind of food this image has to take so if this is going to show me the products so it has to take the photo of that product that's why so since so since we ha we have done the backhand call which is this one now this can take a part of that data so you will see it right now and uh, so uh, I will go to the pad and you will see that now it, it is uh, it is accessible for this image to go and take the photo right but let's undo that and let's delete this to, to see if it can so let's remove that and let's now go to that image now uh, what you will see or what will happen is that this image will not be able to see it cannot take any data because there is no a back there, there is not there is actually no backend query so let's do that backend query again and product and so check myself up and uh, confirm confirm now let's do that let's for this image i want i want to go to the path and go and give it the photo of that document so what happened is that this image will go to firebase to this product to to the photo to copy the path paste it here and it will show it to you or to users here so for this this is the name it is the same it will take the part so it, it will take a, sp uh, a slice of the pie so uh, the, the, its slice is uh, the name so this is the pie and this is a slice of the text this is not the price so don't so it is a combined text of the dollar sign and then the price so because we want to see because we cannot see 200 but we want to see 200 dollars right and the, the second one will be the slice of it will be the price confirm confirm uh no i need to confirm confirm and then confirm right so so here what do you need here so what do you want to see here so we want to see the owner of that so i have done that but i have forgotten so i will delete it so for each product so uh, let's uh, keep only two products let's delete this one we don't need it so what do you see here is that uh, so i will delete what i have done i will delete this field i will also delete this field because uh, we haven't done that yet because i have already recorded this video and then i have uh, deleted that video so this is uh, why you may i have done some changes so now i need to undo that those changes to start with you from scratch so i, I have already added that uh, in the products so in the products name delete that so now i'm just undoing something that i have already done so i so to, to start with you from scratch i will just go here go to the actions delete now we can start from scratch here it is closed now we are good to go so now let's go to the marketplace here or this is what we want so what we want here is to see the name of that so if we go to firebase we we cannot see the so we we have the owner but we have only its id so we don't so this product inside this product we don't have the name of this owner so it's not a field so th that's the that's the question so we already know that so now you need to do it from scratch from the beginning but since i have already added some products i will to i will have to add them manually but for you need to do that to do that from the beginning so right to avoid so i know that i already know that this is maria because this is the idea of maria so let's do that uh, for the other product and uh, so and uh, it's ha it will be owner name again and it's gonna be uh, maria right so add that so now each of our products has a field called uh, owner name so now we know the owner of that product but here inside so so since uh fire flood flow is linked to firebase the fields has to match so here we need also to add the owner name so it's a string 
and validate so what happened now is that for these two products we have added this manually but for, for, for the future from now on we don't have to do, that, to do that we need to go to this so this is the responsible for our product we want to tell it to whenever you create a product please add so specify the owner name so to we got because we need it so here i will come here over here i will add a field not the customers but the owner name so it is from a variable so what will be the owner name so let's say i was the owner of this mic and i put it for sale so i will uh, that button will give the id my id for the fi uh, for the document of this uh, mic and also my name so i will uh, uh, save my id and my name inside document of this mic so this is how it works so uh so if i was at, so where i want to take it from so well so you need to check it from authenticated user why it's because uh, so if i so if I, I want to put a product for sale i need to first authenticate so if i was the authenticated user then i can put a product and that process and that product will be mine which is that my display name will be the owner name because my my name is because since me is the owner and my name my display name will be the owner name of that product that's cool that's it so now we have fixed this issue so this what i have done so far was just was just fixing an issue of uh, mine that i have forgotten so uh, but because we, we needed to do that from the beginning or since the beginning but anyway we have fixed that issue so now let's keep uh let's continue our work G let's go back here so now we are ready so if i click it here now we, what do we want to see now this product as you can see here has uh, the owner name so i can just copy it there but i ha i need to do that i need to do i combine text but i need to, to say buy a space buy and then i will specify who was the one who put that for sale right so i will go to product documents and owner name so it is buy then owner name so now we have done actually the first one we have shown the products by the owner name but there is a problem so if i was let's say I, I was maria and i have made 10 products and we had jack he had also 10 products what happened what happened is that plot flow or this list view what will happen is that this list view is not smart what happened is that it will show all the products including yours so it's very stupid so if i put this for sale and i wanted to buy new equipment so why so so let's say no it doesn't match out so let's say i had this mic and i want to buy a new mic so i went to the marketplace so i i'm looking for something that i don't own yet i'm not looking for this so that's why whenever i go to the marketplace i don't have to put to actually to see my products so that's it because if i was selling this and i wa i went to the marketplace why do i have to see it again why, why do i have to see my products in the marketplace and another issue will be is that if we go to the marketplace and if you show your products you will see always by your name it is very not it's not that smart so what what is the idea what is the goal the goal is to exclude our products from this list to not see them in the marketplace we don't want to see them we want to see them here in the user page here is where, where we want to see our products but here we don't want to see our products we want to discover other people's products so this is what we call a filter so here so instead of keeping to or instead of uh, uh, bringing out all the products we want to filter them so with this filter what we what will what uh, this filter will do is uh, uh, filtering the results to exclude our uh, our products and keep the products of other people so we want to see so what do we want to exclude them with so it's the owners right the owner id or the owner right so the owner id of the products i want to see doesn't have to equal to mine so my my id which was the authenticated user so so the owner so if so what do i want so all the products will have so this is like the condition so if a product is follows this condition it will be shown if the owner of that product was not equal to mine which means that the owner of this product is not mine then i will see it right if the owner of this product was equal to mine i will not see that confirm 
and that's go if you don't understand watch the video again practice a lot try it yourself and you will understand it's very easy so we are filtering things we would not want to we want to with this filter is will exclude so if the owner not equal to me then i will show it so i want to see the products where the customer or the owner is not me that's not equal to my id right because i have an id and he has an id right so now we have done the so now we have done the first filter now for the last filters so uh, this filter is simple so the filters that um, i speak about is uh, is that i want to have some sort of a drop down menu and i want to allow people to filter the categories so i want to if they want to see mics they will see the mic if I do, they want to see the gpus they will see the gpus that's what i this, so that's what i am looking for right so first of all i will go to the add product i will copy this because it is the same it has the options so why do why do why reinvent the wheel so and uh, so let's put it down here so uh, i believe so let's paste it here first and bring it up here between these two guys and uh, for the width for the width where it is so we want to here it is so we don't want it to be infinite I will turn on the percentage and I will give 70% that's good and uh, so I want to add some padding on the top because there is always already a padding on the bottom so now uh, that's cool so for this list view so for this list view so this list view has the first filter which will show me the product of other people but the second filter will be to show me the uh, to filter them by category so whatever category you select here will be shown here in the results so uh, by category so why it is equal to what what is here if the category equals to let's say here this is max so every all the products that have the category equals to uh, the, uh, equals to mics will be shown so this is what means that if this was a mic it will be shown up if i selected mic here if this was a gpu and if i have selected mics here it will not show it will not it will not be shown up so confirm so now we have done the two filters and now it's uh, it's time to test things out now i will run it and we will meet you on the other side so what do we have uh, here as you can see here so this is a uh, so if i was to, i went to the marketplace then i will not see any products that's why because the uh, jack on the other side which is the other user doesn't have any products for sale so let's give him some products let's go back let's give let's log out let's go to his profile and let's sneak out and s steal his uh, data so uh, by the way whenever you want to make an app there is no need for you to save the password for security purposes because you don't you may not need that so uh what do i want to actually what do i want to do is to go here yes log in and add some products so or maybe i just want to go there and check the so if there are some products for maria or whatever so uh let's now log in i will log in as jack so we have created that so now jack has no products right it's empty so if we went to the marketplace don't forget don't worry about this issue we are going to see that so here so when so you see that if when i went to the marketplace i saw the products that belongs to maria so you see here by maria and it's not scrollable we want we will fix that in the next episode so at the beginning of the next episode because i have already put that here uh, in the previous recordings of course so if so let's now let's, so if i select the gpu i will only see the gpu because now so the second filter is working which is this one so the second filter is checking uh, the data so it is uh, checking the gpu and it makes sure that the products that will show up here are gpus so if i selected the here so this is a keyboard that's why it is belongs to the mouse keyboards it's by maria and it is showing up so now uh, i let i feel a little bit tired for you guys so thank you so much guys for watching uh, i hope that you have learned something from you, uh, useful so don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends so sorry i am a little bit tired so i cannot speak a lot so i will meet you on this on the next video